Let's get to your first bear bet for the National Football League. It is the Green Bay Packers at the Chicago Bears, a divisional game here. The Bears are favored by one. The total is 42. Aaron Rodgers out. Jordan Love in for the Packers. The Bears have added talent. And I hope Justin Fields takes the next step in his progression this year. Bear, where are you leaning yeah. first? Way, yeah, obviously, we're, at the time we're recording this, I have to go with the line at what it is. Bears minus one. I like the Bears here. Uh, for you at home, I might wait. I don't think this is going to go to one and a half or two. So I would just wait it out as long as you can. Maybe you get a pick. Maybe Green Bay actually goes uh, to a one point favorite. Like, I am like, Jordan Love could succeed. He may not, but I just think this is a Green Bay team that is in a, in a in roster transition. They're one of the youngest teams in the league, and just they, they're so, they, they are like the biggest. Tra- they're uh, I think the Packers are going to surprise this year. Everyone's saying that it's to a point where the Packers are no longer a surprise. And look, I am not one of these. Justin Fields is going to be an MVP yeah. in this league or be this dramatically improved passer. But his ability to run and improvise, I think that's going to give defenses problems early on. As bad as the Bears were last year, they were in some games. They beat the 49ers week one. I think I basically to just to essentially win the game yeah. at home against Green Bay, I, 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 I like the Bears here. I think it's fair to, defense can't help but be better no. than last year either. I, I think it's fair to point out, too, some of these wagers you're going to make throughout the season are, are not – uh, you know, a plus for the Bears, but more of a fade of the Packers mm-hmm. in the situation. Jordan Love really interests me because it's his fourth season now. And a lot of times you hear early in, in quarterbacks' careers behind the scenes, like with Patrick Mahomes, I'm not comparing him to Patrick Mahomes, but the idea was like, oh, he looks good in practice. Like you see, like there's yeah. there's there's things you see where you're like, oh man, I can't wait for him to play. I know Rodgers won two MVPs there in the last three years. And so there was no need to get him on the field, but we haven't heard that with Jordan Love. We haven't heard... Oh my God, man! I can't wait till he plays. He's going to show everyone, and so I think this is a good spot to take a division opponent. Do you, do you buy into the idea that Week One divisional dogs is a good wager? I don't necessarily know if that's a so, something that I pay much is, is an actionable trend. I mean, obviously, it's a it's a it's a massive deal that you're starting with a divisional opponent, and I don't think it, it, I don't think divisional it, it really matters in terms of dog favorite. But the fact that you are playing a divisional game, I, I think it's a big deal, and you know you're going to get both teams' best efforts. But at the same time with Love, there are also people out there who kind of like the idea that he's been on the team for three, four years now, has held the clipboard, watched it observed, <laughs> and hasn't – because because now you're taking a quarterback high in the draft, Anthony Richardson, C.J. Stroud, pricing, all these guys are starting playing right, away. right out of the gate. And is there something to be said that maybe Love will benefit the fact that he's kind of got to observe one of the greatest ever to do it and not have it to play? Maybe. I mean, people are doing the parallel to Rogers, right? Who sat behind yeah. Hall of Famer Brett Favre. I, I think my thing is one of the reasons Rogers was so aggressive, not this season, but the last off season of kind of holding the Packers to the fire is he knew that Jordan Love wasn't the guy they could just be like, all right, Rogers, see you mm-hmm. later. We'll start love. Yeah. Like I feel like that's part of the, of that that's equation from from last year. Not obviously this off season. And so I think that there's just not that thought. There's a thought of okay, maybe he can do it. Maybe he can be good. But you mentioned all, all the young quarterbacks. Now with quarterbacks through high school and college, they're just more prepared. And so a lot of them come into the NFL ready to play now. Doesn't always happen. Trey Lance wasn't ready to play now. No. Jordan Love wasn't ready to play now. Obviously, now he was behind Aaron Rodgers. So I look. I'm. I think he can do it, like be competent, be good. But week one, a lot of pressure on him. Everyone's watching him, and the Bears are much improved. Let's get to our second Bear bet. Another divisional game, the Bengals at the Browns here. The Browns are plus two and a half. Totals 48.5. Joe Burrow is back in practice for the Bengals, going to play this week. Um, And the Browns guys had a good football team. Deshaun Watson with a full offseason. Where are you leaning here, Bear? I like the Browns a lot this year. I'm taking the Browns plus a two and a half in this game. You mentioned Joe Burrow. How mobile is he going to be behind a bad offensive line? Calf injury, I think, can be an issue throughout the year. It's something that I think can just pop up on the spur of the moment. You mentioned Deshaun Watson. Like, your opinion of the Browns basically comes down to, do you think Deshaun Watson can still play quarterback in the National Football League? If you think he can, then you're going to be bullish on the Browns because their roster is really their roster, roster is probably better than the Bengals top to bottom. They got some great receivers, obviously Chubb at running back uh, defensively. 
The, the front is outstanding, and now you bring in Jim Schwartz to be the defensive coordinator. As bad as things were in Cleveland last year, they absolutely kicked the crap out of the <laughs> Bengals Halloween weekend last year. Yeah. So I, I think the way the, Bang, the Browns' schedule shapes up later in the year, I know I'm kind of getting off of this one particular game and getting excited about betting the Browns uh, in, in, in some future wagers as well, but I, I think this is a great situation for, for Cleveland. And look, they are a two-and-a-half-point favorite, and the fact that everybody loves Cincinnati and Joe Burrow is back, the line is staying south of a field goal, yeah. which leads me to believe the odds makers are quite comfortable going into this game with the liability, needing needing, needing the home dog, needing the Browns, comfortable saying, okay, we'll let, we'll let everybody have, have Cincinnati at a little bit of a discount less than a field goal, and they're attracting that money. And I, I think I think the, the odds makers are telling you that Cleveland's the right side. I think so too. Um, the Browns um, are just a good football team. If Watson can be a little bit above average, like he was in Houston, I don't think people think Watson is, is going to be maybe the superstar that he was a couple of years ago, or was on path to 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 be that way. The one problem I have about betting against the Bengals is, as a Chiefs fan, I've come to really respect them. Right, yeah. like they play Hard a style to. of football that is that is that, that plays each week. They don't make mistakes. They don't turn the ball over, and they play a, a style of defense. It doesn't allow a lot of explosive plays, and so I do worry about that. How much? You, how many? You talking about the defense? Is change in the safeties in the secondary? How much will that affect the Everett's defense? I, I mean, they they drafted Dax Hill last year, right? So like they're adding him into the into the defense, obviously, kind of more prominent role. It will probably affect some of it early on, um, but you know they 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 just they kind of corral offenses. Like when you watch the Bengals defense play, they don't allow explosive plays. Like, but I do worry about their ability to stop the Browns rushing attack, which is really good. And if the Browns rushing attack works as well as it should, that allows Deshaun Watson to get some more open opportunities uh, to, to hit guys, obviously in, in different spaces of defense. I, I will always lean toward divisional dogs getting points in the situation. But my only counter again, is that I just respect the Bengals a lot and the mm -hmm. way they do things. Burrow's mobility to your point will be tested against miles Garrett and the Browns pass rush it's a good opportunity here for Orlando Brown who got paid a lot of money to to be the guy that they need him to be early in week one against Miles Garrett because Miles Garrett buddy is oh, yeah. a beast and um he he's one of those guys that, that will be up for defensive player of the year over sack total all those things Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together